The base I have to show you now is one that's labeled Johann Rauner. I took a quick view uh, on the web just to try to check and see what I could find out about Rauner. Not a lot. It's a little bit confusing. What I think I know about it is that Johann Rauner is a name that was placed uh, in instruments after they got here to the States. And I guess the consensus on the web was a West Coast importer but made in Germany nonetheless. And uh, this particular instrument, I can't make out the year in the label, um, but I would guess sometime in the 60s uh, or 70s. Let me show you why. Let's go up and start at the top, kind of as usual. And the clue is these t tuning machines. German made, beautiful brass with engraving. And these thick uh, keys and this construction uh, I just don't think was being done uh, earlier. These, we buy these very same tuning machines now. So this bass is made in typical German style with all the grain running the correct direction. You know, we've got um, the growth rings are going across this way and flat across the neck, which is correct for violin construction. Mm. This is a bass with great full sound. And because it's a solid wood base that's all in good condition, I cannot find any evidence of top cracks and repairs, at least not uh, anything major. And um, so with that proper construction, Good, clear singing sound on top. Nice, fat, growly sound on the bottom. And um, it would make a great jazz bass. It would make, uh, I think you heard, you know, you'll hear Chris play some arco on this instrument. Nice tone there. And uh, this is a really good all-around bass at a real fair price. I hope it turns out to be your bass. Thanks. I like the warmth and depth of this bass, being able to play long tones, a scale, and some excerpts. <laughs>